Hi, I'm Allie Bierman with How to Have Amazing Relationships that come and I'm so glad you came by here today. You see, before you can have an amazing relationship, well, you got to know what that's going to look like. Let's call that your destination. So all the things that you think would be perfect, that would be an amazing relationship for you, it's just going to be different than what it's going to be for other people. That's one thing you have to have in mind. But what's the other part of that equation? The other part of that formula is you got to know your starting point. Because you see, if you're starting at point A, you're going to have one kind of trip. But what if you're starting at point B? Now that's going to be a really different journey. Now to help you to be able to see exactly where your relationship status is now, I created a survey for you. If you go on over down to this link, you'll find it. It'll take you two minutes to do it. And I have some really nice gifts for you just for taking those two minutes to find out the status of your relationship now. Again, I'm Allie Bierman. How to have amazing relationships dot com. I will see you there. What was the other one? 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 What was the other picture I was making? I don't know. Mm. Hi, I'm Allie Bierman with How to Have Amazing Relationships dot com. Well, I'm talking about romantic relationships. So how do you know what your amazing relationship is going to look like? Have you ever stopped to think about it? If you don't stop to think about it, how are you going to know when you arrive there? How are you going to know it's happened for you? Take time. You're going to have to make the time because chances are you don't have the time. Make the time. Sit down. Take out a pen or a pencil and paper and just start writing. Don't stop for at least 10 minutes. You might have some gobbledygook coming out first, but keep going until you see very clearly what's important to you that will define for you an amazing relationship. To help you find your way a little bit, you might want to look at the things in your current relationship that you don't like. Well, if you don't like something, then you must want the opposite of that. In order to discover what it is that you're having right now that you really don't want, I created a survey for you, and you'll find it at this link down below. Go on over there. Take two minutes. It will help you to define what your amazing relationship will look like. And besides, I got some pretty cool gifts for you that will help you to make changes in your relationship starting today. Again, I'm Allie Bierman with How to Have Amazing Relationships dot com, and here's to your amazing romantic relationship. Okay. What are we going to do there? We can do the same thing, but we're going to do it for that one. Okay. Okay. Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman, and I want to thank you for joining us today for the gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. Well, what is a metaphysical ministry anyway? Meta means bigger than physical, the physical realm. What you can experience through your five senses. You are experiencing less than 1% of actually exists when you're counting on your ability to see, hear, taste, smell, and touch. Less than 1% of what's existing out there. See, humans are evolving to become multi-sensory beings. You've experienced times where Maybe you heard a little voice, or you called it a gut feeling. Maybe you've seen somebody's auras. Just experiences that you absolutely cannot explain. That's you developing your multi-sensory abilities. And the more that you develop those, the more of that 99% plus you'll get to experience 
of the total reality that exists. We begin every week of a happy share. A happy share, well, that's something that leaves you feeling happy or peaceful or calm. It's not what happened for your spouse, for your best friend, for your parents or your kids, something that left you feeling happy. Now, I have a cool happy share. I've been on a healing journey for a long, long time now. And today I went out to the first party that I've been to in a couple years where I actually got to play music, which is something I used to do all the time. So I get to play some djembe and do some jamming with some friends. And that's really important to me. It's something I love to do. So that's a really, really big happy share for me because I got to be with special people and got to do something I love with a special people. What's your happy share? If you scroll down and you let us know what it is, guess what? Your subconscious mind can't tell the difference between what's real and what's imagined. So when you're writing that happy share, it's going to release all the same feel-good chemicals that happened when your original event took place. So you would be happy all over again. And you know what? When you create the habit of looking for things that make you happy and when you share them, the universe says, wow, look at that. Sally is really noticing things that make her happy. Let's give her more to be happy about. That's the way the universe works. So you have all kinds of reasons to share your happy share to create the habit of happiness. And you can do it down below. And you can also go over to the happy share movement dot com. Join the movement. Get your friends and family in it. Do you know how the world will change? How frequencies and vibrations will rise up to the place where everything exists that we want in life? When people live from a place of looking for and expecting and receiving reasons to be happy. Create the habit of happiness now by sharing your happy share. Now usually this week I would do something well, I would share a meditation with you. I'd want to do something different today instead of sharing a meditation. Metaphysical ministry is all about being on your spiritual path. Now, spirituality is a completely different thing from religion. You can be very, very spiritual and not believe in any kind of religion at all. You can be very, very devout in some religious faith and have no spiritual bent inside you at all. So what we're here doing in Metaphysical Ministry International is emphasizing 100% of the spirituality, of the metaphysics, of the laws that create the universe by which we live, whether or not you know it, whether or not you acknowledge it. Those are the facts. So my question to you is, how do you know when you've reached that place in your spirituality where you feel at peace? where you feel like you found the solution you've been seeking, where you feel calm, when things click for you in your mind, what will you know to look for, to hear, to experience that will let that happen for you? So when you're looking for your spirituality, sometimes it's something that you're looking for. How do you want your world to look? How do you want to feel? What do you want to know in your heart? Those are some questions to get you going. And I urge you to just take out a pen and paper and sit down and Put that pen on that paper and just keep writing. You don't want to think about this stuff. You want it to just flow out of you. Because then it's coming not from your think about logical ego mind and left brain, but from your right brain and your connection to the all is one, to all that is, to universe, to source, to God, whatever term you use, you plug in there through your right brain, through your subconscious mind. When you find your answers, or at least when you pose your questions, then you know what to look for in the world. And look, 
with more than just your five senses. Well, what do I mean by that? Maybe you're running through radio stations while you're riding along in your car and you hear snippets from this one and that one if you're doing a scan, right? You might hear just a tiny little three, four words from one song that are the words you need to hear today because you got something going on and you didn't know how to find the solution. There they were when you were scanning. Maybe you're driving by a billboard and they just changed it or maybe it's been there for 10 years and you just never saw the words along the bottom that are your solution for the day. Maybe you're standing in line someplace to buy something. You overhear a piece of conversation. Maybe you go into a bookstore or a library and if you're like me, you know what book you're picking out, right? Except when you get it home, you find, oh my goodness, this must have been a book next to the one I thought I was getting. You opened it at random to a page and there was your answer. Look for those kinds of things to happen and always, always, always trust a gut feeling. And be sure you go on over there if you haven't already and pick up your copy of your first steps on your spiritual path. Before I go, I want to point out something. If you look up here on the page, on the ministry site on the page, you will see another page called Hold the Space For. Hold the Space means to hold the vision for somebody of something they want to create in their world, of a reality that they don't now live in, that they do want to manifest. It could be something like finding a new partner. You need to be getting a new bike. How about a new stereo or a new home? Maybe it's a book you've been wanting and you just can't remember the name. Whatever it is you want in your life, it's not there now. If you scroll down in the comments section, you let us know what it is. Not only are you putting it out to the universe, but everybody who comes by here and reads your comment, and by the way, it will magically appear up there on the Hold the Space for a page. You come back, you tell all your friends to come back, at the very least once a week. You read every name and what they want, and you're taking the thought form for that person, because one person putting out is going to be a thought form that's probably going to manifest if it's right for them. But when you're also envisioning them doing whatever it is that they want to be doing, that thought form is getting bigger with each person, and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Now things will only appear in your world if they're in your highest and best interest and when they're in your highest and best interest and it's called divine timing. However, if you want to really move along the timing, maybe speed up that divine timing so the universe will tell you what you need to do to be ready to receive it, you want your thought form to be bigger. And hold the space for a page, you read the name, you read what it is the person wants, it doesn't matter if you don't know who they are, the universe does the manifesting, co-creating with you and the others involved. You don't have to know who they are, just read the name and what they want. I'm really glad you came by today. I wish you a wonderful week. Get to this. It's going to make a difference for you. And I will see you next week. Enjoy a wonderful week filled with happiness and blessings. Oh, and if you do this one thing for me, if you go up here and click share, that will get this message out to all the people who you know and care about. Because a lot of people are on their spiritual path these days but many, many don't talk about it for one reason or another. So you might be helping somebody who you don't even know is seeking just exactly this kind of information. I appreciate it, especially if you got something out of it. Just click on share up there. Leave a comment. Let us know what's happening for you. And I'd sure love to know what you discover when you sit down and do this exercise and what other questions you ask yourself. So I can share those with other people too. Did I have two, three? I think so.